What is good guys, we are back with another SPL replay, this time get this money from the Tyrants versus here from the Runas. Looking at the teams real quick, I'm expecting a Rox, Clef and a Scarf land on get this money side, a SD Scythor, Divo and Zaptus or Ladi and a Calmind Coon. The question is if it's Rest or if it's Subsea and Protect Coon. On here side most likely Life Up Kyurem. Um, probably SD Scythor, Rox on Tran, Scarf on Lando, Willow is Softball, Knockoff and Defog on the Mew and a Bulky Among Us. So let's get right into it. See Ladi lead versus Kyurem. Now, um, Scizor and Tren have to fear potential coverage moves, like um, Heatron has to fear Surf and Earthquake, Scizor has to fear HP Fire, so I think Mew is the better play for here, here, and mm -hmm. get this money, could either attack or he could double out. Double into Clef, um, anticipating the Mew, which is a good play for get this money. Get this money could get his rocks up here, he is most likely gonna go to either Scizor or Heatran. Now... This is probably bulky trend and they carry like Taunt Rocks, Lava Plume, Toxic and Auras. Most of the time they don't carry Mountain Storm. And he could he could taunt here if he's fearing a T-Wave or he could just get his rocks up. Um this could be this is either T-Wave or knockoff on the clef. So he does knock off the leftovers from the Heatran. Now the Tran can not really do much to the clef, like I said, they usually only have Lava Plume to attack and then taunt to hit clef. So like staying in is a fine play here, but get forget this money, even if the Tran taunts him, that's fine. So yeah, he just switches out into Scissor here on the Moonblast. Now he obviously has to switch, he can go into either his own Scissor or his Suicune. I assume he is just gonna Mega Wolf and then U-turn out. He could also knock off if he has that, but I think U-turn is what he uh, has gonna go for, yeah. So now, um, yeah, his plays there was either Mew, Amoongus, or Heatran, but yeah, Mew or Tran is more obvious. He doesn't want to go Tran because he already has his leftovers and he would get chipped down. Now he threatens this out with a will wisp obviously. Um, get this money, Sclafarib is really obvious here. So if he has knockoff, he should definitely go for that. He's obviously not going to stay in to let his scissor get burned, that would be a horrible play. So he does knock off, catches the clef on a switch, which is a good play. I think get this money, is just going to try to knock off the Mew. Even if uh, he switches into scissor or Tran here, get this money, still gets chip damage with rocks. He doesn't lose much by just knocking here with Clefable. And if he stays in, he gets rid of his um, leftovers on the Mew. So he stays in to knock off, which looks like a questionable play, but in my opinion, um, I think what he tried to do there is predict Suicune, because um, get this money could have doubled into Suicune, that would have covered the Scizor and that would have covered the Heatran, and that would have put uh, get this money in a good position potentially. So I definitely understand he is play, um, but it didn't work out that well because now Mew lets the leftovers. And if Ladi has coverage moves for Heatran or Scizor, Mew using lefties is gonna be bad for him and Rocks being up because he can't really switch into Ladi then later in the game. So yeah, I think get this money, he can start spamming Moonblast here. He is eventually gonna um, have to switch out into his Scizor. I don't know why he rules the dead, that didn't really make much sense to me. He was in the Scizor here as he just Moonblasts again. Now he is obviously gonna roost up. Uh, get this money, could go in his Suicune, Zapdos or Scizor here. He goes on his own scissor as he is just gonna roost. So I think get this money is gonna mega and roost up and he is just gonna U-turn out into either Heatran, Among Us or Mew. Goes in Heatran, takes rocks, gets chipped. That is definitely what get this money wants for his Ladi. Heatran getting chipped, everything getting chipped down on his team. Um, obviously you not wanna stay in you don't wanna stay in here with Scizor. You either go to Kuhn or you go to Ladi if you get this money. If you're here, I'm expecting either Lava Plume or Toxic to come out here. So he goes hard Ladi, um, Lava Plume or Toxic? Toxic, okay. So this tells us that the Ladi most likely has Earthquake or Surf to hit the Heatran, and he is gonna have to switch out here. Um, the reason why I get this, so get this money when Ladi over Kuhn. That might mean his Kuhn does not have rest, and he doesn't mind his Ladi being status because his Ladi could also have recover, and it threatens out the trend. So he should go um, most likely Scizor here, scouting for Earthquake or Surf. And get this money, and um, we can see he just attacked because he stayed in. Then yeah, he gets a good chunk to the scissor with the surf. Now the thing is, um, yeah, he should roost here to keep this healthy because he does not have a switch in. If he, if he like U-turns or doubles out here, then his scissor's not healthy enough to switch in the lie. So I think he should roost here. As get this money, he's gonna go zap this Suicune or scissor, one of the three. Definitely not gonna stay in with the lie. He wasn't a Zapdos, um, threatening the scissor with a heat wave. If he doubles out into Landris, I'm not 100% sure what he predicted there, gonna be honest with you. Um, I don't know if he scouted for HP Fire or if he just predicted a double, not 100% sure. But yeah, um, the Scarf Land on Auras usually wants U-turn, Edge, Earthquake, Knockoff, and sometimes Explosion, I think that's not so common though. So the land though could either Stone Edge or Knockoff here, so get this money, he wants, has to decide if he wants to lose lefties on his Zapdos if, he, if he's fearing Knockoff. Or if he um, 
I think Scissor is a good play if I get this money, right? Yeah, he could either go Scissor or his own land if he doesn't want to lose lefties on his Abdos. Because I'm expecting either Edge, Knockoff, or U turn here. Goes in his own landers. Now we're gonna be able to see if this is offensive landers. That's definitely offensive. Um, so Scarf, and I think this is also Scarf. I also saw that at Team Preview. Because um, we can see from the damage that does way more than... Like his lander does more damage than a defensive lander would do. We can also see um, that this lander was Scarf. Because yeah, it says that Scar Choice Scarf was knocked off. It says there right at the side. And yeah, they exchange knockoffs here. So he is gonna lose his Scarf, I assume. And now we see also that he is Lando is faster, so get this money can just U-turn. If he stays then he gets a slow U-turn, if he switches he gets momentum. So Mungus comes out, get this money U-turns, and he could, um, yeah I was gonna say he could have gone Zapdos and Roosted, but yeah going Lari is a fine play. And now this is what I talked about earlier, he did not heal his scissor, so this Lari kinda gets a kill right now with Draco. Um, he has to decide what he wants to sack here, I think it's not the Amoongus. Mungus helps him with the Suicune. It's between Tren, Mew and Scissor, what do you want to sack here? It's not the Amoongus. Um, expecting a Draco or Surf here from Get This Money. There's the Mew. And Bob, Draco, Mew just dies. And now here he can go... He could go Scissor here since the Lari is at minus 2 and he could heal his Scissor up. Definitely. Um, if he still fears HP fire, then he would bullet punch, but I think Roost is, the fine, is a fine play here. Um, so if Get This Money breaks the Roost, he could stay in himself and go for Roost with Lari. But if he fears bullet punch, Get This Money, he could switch out into his um, Zapdos, Suicune, or his own Scizor. So he switches out into Zapdos here, um, expecting Roost or bullet punch. He just goes for bullet punch. I don't know, he probably still feared HP fire. I'm not 100% sure. I think he should have definitely roosted there. Because now he's forced out by the Zapdos, potentially having heat wave. And that means the scissor is super low and it cannot switch into Lari the next time. So I'm expecting here to switch into Kyurem here and get this money. He's most likely just gonna roost because he wants to keep his Zapdos healthy. Uh, yeah, Kyurem obviously covers, like, eats any hit that Zapdos could throw out and also covers the roost. So now, um,. Get this money most likely doesn't want to go hard coon because that's potential win con. I think get this money has to sack something here. Um, either the Lari or the Clef. We'll have to see what he sacks. He goes hard Clef. He throws over Ice Beam and does a lot, so I think that's more so Fist Death Clef. So now you can either Ice Beam or Fusion Bolt to pick up the kill. We could see it's Life Up Qum as expected. Now, get this money can go. Mm. Probably Scissor is not the play, but if depends on if Bullet Punch kills. Um, he could either Scissor here if he's confident that this doesn't have HP fire and that Bullet Punch kills, or he could go Lari because Lari pretty much also gets a kill when it comes out here. You have to see if he goes Scissor or Lari. He goes Lari, and he has to sack something here. Um, either Heatran or Scissor might have to get sacked off here. Kyurem is still valuable when it comes in later on Zapdos. Could also threaten the Suicune with Fusion Bolt. Even though it, says it only has a few fusion bolt verse. So you can because of the pressure ability. But yeah, I'm expecting um, Surf or Draco here. He goes Scizor and it's just gonna die. Um, I think Draco would have killed as well, but he surfed. Lari goes down to the life up, so it's a double down. If you get this money, go on the landers. I'm expecting get this money to either knock off or U turn on the Among Us here. Um, Among Us is probably just gonna like Giga Drain or Spore. Yeah, Giga Drain. He lives on one, but he dies to rocks. I mean, you can keep this as death fodder if he wants to, but I think he's just gonna sack it off. Um, because if he U-turns here and something could get spored. So I assume get this money, he's just gonna earthquake and sack this. Uh, here goes in his own land, expecting the earthquake. And... Um, I don't think there's a point in switching out for get this money because his land dies to rocks. So I assume he's just gonna try to stone it or knock off to get some chip. If he's faster, he does save it, okay? Did not expect that one. So, um, Scissor could go for U turn or Roost here. Bullet Punches. Just wanted to pick off the Landros. I don't think he was gonna stay in there. Now, this already showed Toxic, so if he doesn't have rest, he doesn't wanna go hard Coon. I think he's just gonna sack the Landros to Rocks. That seems like the play to make here. Yep. Because they're hard Coon if you get Toxic is a bad play. At this point, I'm thinking it's sub CM Coon because he didn't bring it in on Trend twice, so it means he doesn't wanna get Toxic. So he could sub up here if he has that. 
Uh, he has to switch into goes on sex Lando. Okay, I was I was gonna say Mungus. He went hard Lando there, expecting like a combine, I think, and he wanted to knock off the leftovers. Now, if he expected a combine, he could have also stayed in the toxic. I'm not 100% sure what he expected there, but yeah, now the coon can um, go for protect if he has that, which he most likely has because he already showed sub, and that's like the most common Suicune set. He goes for earthquake. Um, earthquake is gonna be able to break the sub, and then Skull is gonna knock out the Landris. And then he has to go into Amoongus or Kyurm afterwards. And there's the Kyurm. Um, okay, if this is this is tough, I'll get this money. Um, Fusion Bolt probably doesn't kill. Um, I'm expecting the Kyurm to go for Roost here, right? So get this money could try to fish for Scald Burn, or he could go hard into Scizor. Um, yeah, I think Hard Scizor or Scald, one of the two other plays. As he's gonna roost here, right? That's super obvious because he's life up and he doesn't want to be too low. Now, the Scizor should just Bullet Punch here because he don't know yet if this is HP Fire. Um, and he turn if it comes out, it gets low. As he does roost, okay. I thought he would Bullet Punch there. Now. Hmm. The thing is, the Scizor um, is looking in a position to win the game, right? Because it's um, it should roost huge turn bullet punch. Last move could be SD, right? And he turn keeps getting chipped and lost his leftovers already. And Scizor beats Kyurem and the Mungus easily. So he definitely has to keep this. He has to switch into either Zapdos or Kuhn. It's a question here: what you go to? I think you go for Toxic here if you're here. Uh, he goes hard Zapdos, he doesn't want his Kuhn to get Toxic. I think you go for Toxic if you're here, because yeah, Scizor is never going to stay in there. Toxic hits the other two months. Now you go in the Kyurm here, and I think Zapdos is just going to go for the electric move. We go Among Us, okay. Discharges. Okay, I guess good breed on here there, he doesn't want to get risk getting Parrot on Kyurm. And yeah, Among Us beats the Zapdos when we won probably, if it's Spadef. So you could Sludge Bomb here with Among Us. Get this money, could just Heat Wave if he has that. We do see it's a 2 hit KO. He gets a burn, which is a bit annoying. The HP Fire is trying to catch the Scizor, but yeah, he wasn't gonna ha go hard Scizor there. I think the play is either staying in with Zapdos or going Suiku. And Scizor is definitely the win con, so yeah, you don't go Scizor there. Um, so he could roost here or he could Heat Wave again. He goes Heat Train, trying to catch him on a Heat Wave. He just roosts. So I think he's just gonna discharge here. Or oh, Heat Wave again would be a good play, expecting to pivot back into Amoongus. But it goes back into Kyurem. Does he Heat Wave? He discharges. Let's see if he gets a para. Yeah, I think he's just sacking the Kyurem at Zapdos at this point. Um, here he can roost here. Okay, yeah, hard scissors. I thought he was gonna sack it, but since the roost is so obvious, that makes sense. So yeah, get his money and just bullet punch here. And you guys can see the heat one keeps getting chipped and chipped and chipped. And it cannot switch in anymore because of rocks. Like, it can, it can come in on rocks one more time, but it's in bullet punch range. See, doubles into Kyurem here expecting Zapdos slash Suicune. Most likely the Zapdos because he wasn't gonna go hard Kuhn. And yeah, the Kyurem can just click Ice Beam here and, or Fusion Bolt. Probably Ice Beam. He roosts. He wants as much health as possible on Kyurem, but yeah, Zapdos does show Toxic. Um, I don't think it made a difference, but I probably would have Ice Beamed myself there. Because if you um, roost, you risk getting discharged paired as well. Um, now Zapdos dies to Ice Beam. Scizor is gonna come out here. Scizor can just click Bullet Punch or Roost. I think Roost is fine. He ice beams, he's going for the freeze at this point. I would roost personally to keep this healthy. He does SD. I mean, that's a fair play because now he just wins with this. Because the. The Hedron is at 2% after Rocks dies to Bullet Punch. This dies to plus 2 Bullet Punch, and Amoongus probably also dies. So, yeah, that was the correct play, but I thought um, just in case this has HP fire, he wants to Bullet Punch hard there. But yeah, he just went for the freeze there, he doesn't have HP fire. So, yeah, Bullet Punch picks up the kill here, I would assume, and just sweeps. So I get this money, get this first win, this SPL, I think he was 0-2 and I uploaded the first match. This turn obviously dies to Bullet Punch, and Amoongus, if it doesn't die, um, but it should die to uh, plus to Bullet Punch, then it would have been in Skull range. Okay, u turns. he doesn't even Bullet Punch. So, I don't remember what the score was when this happened. Let me pause real quick to see if I remember. Yeah, the Tyrants were definitely leading, I don't know how much, like maybe 6-2 and two or something. Um, I still have more games from the series coming, so I'm not gonna look spoiler the results if you haven't seen them. But this was like the only other game where I recorded the replay. Every other game, um, you're gonna have to smoke this chat, it's gonna be pretty chill and live. And your short swimmer Ultra Balls again, he's helping me with some of these games, especially with lower tiers, because some days I just don't have motivation um, to record. I spilled Sunday, I already said it in my other video, was super wild yesterday. 
and uh, did not sleep much at all so like um, running between con two computers with no sleep and internet dying in between was very stressful but yeah I and do enjoy recording this so I'm willing to like um, how, how what's the correct term for this I'm willing to like uh, waste a lot of my time on this especially on the weekend when I don't have anything else to do I can afford to do this mm. I cannot wait for mid season because I still have a lot of I still have a lot of old two games um, that I will put up after SPL from Snake Drops from S2 and Smogon Championship Empo asked me to record his games as well that I missed live so you guys can expect that everything after SPL finishes at the moment I will just focus on SPL if you still want to see just let me know if you still want to see old Snake games and old uh, Smogon Tour games I hope you all enjoyed and cool one with SD Scizor um, pretty surprised that Broken Suicun didn't win this game. <laughs> like Suicun is so good in Aura. Like if a Mung is like a Mung doesn't necessarily beat the one we want, especially with pressure, you can stall out Giga Drain. Mm, yeah, I think one of the keys in this game was like rocks chipping down the heat, like Clefable knocking off the Tren, making it able that Tren Tren keeps getting chipped for Scissor. So really cool team on get this money spot. Rocks plus Tren not having left these main that is get chipped and Scissor could just win at the end. The like, rocks were really annoying for here for um, the Kyurem and for the Tren. And yeah, hope you guys all enjoyed. And peace out.